Hi guys, I'm Larry the Butcher. I'm going to butcher today. I keep, I keep impressing on you guys. Find value, get to know your butcher or the meat manager. And there's a lot of stuff you can do at home. It's going to save you a ton of money. And here's one of them. A while ago we had, at work, we had Angus blades on sale. I bought a whole one for two reasons. First off, I can use the whole thing. Second off, I want to show you guys how to break this down at home so you have an understanding as to the versatility that any cut of meat has. As a rule, I do prefer rail beef. You can do more with the parts that are there. You can do more with it. You get bones for soup. Um, the fat you can meet, mix with lean trim to make medium burgers. But this isn't exactly a horrible thing either. And one thing I like already, um, I've had this for a little while. It's got a little bit of a gassy um, smell to it. It's okay. It's just nitrogen in the myoglobin uh, gets suspended and it leaches out in another minute or so. This is going to be fine. And this is going to make a bunch of great meals. This side here attaches to the, um, the spine. He, these here are called um, feather bones. They were here, and here, and here. They get taken off. The back side, you guys remember I did that episode where I made uh, bonanza steaks, which also may be called. Denver steaks. It's this muscle right here. Now let's start right away. Meat cutting is, you know what, it's all about finding seams. And working your way around. In a grocery store, if you were to sell this as, as boneless blade roast, you would trim off some of the fat, um, square it up a little bit. What you take off would become ground beef. And um, you would tie it up and cut it. We're, we're going to be a little more inventive here. Some of this stuff is going to become ground beef. Take that part there. So let's, let's work on it here. Today's been an interesting day. We've adopted a 5 a.m. start time at work. So it is 3.07 in the afternoon. I've been up for 11 hours. That's what you do, right? Get the counter in first, the customer comes in first. You beat, the, you beat your competition. A little bit more. There we go. These bonanza steak, Denver steak. New Brunswick T bone. Call it what you want. Still gonna be delicious. One thing, there's one thing that I, I am vehemently trying to promote is that there should be no waste in the meat department. Now a lot of that, a lot of reducing waste in a grocery store means that you have to go back to doing more rather than less. Uh, bringing in rail beef is a good way to do more. Making sausage and hamburger patties in store. Um, now that, that does go against uh, the current trend to get outside suppliers to make uh, sirloin burgers, primer burgers, brisket burgers, wagyu burgers. But it's all stuff that can be done real easily in the store without extra labor. You're just shuffling labor around. You get an apprenticeship program going, 
and when should I ever get the opportunity to retire I kind of doubt that's gonna happen I will be able to go into a butcher shop look at someone much younger than me and go I need a two inch rib steak cap on so I'm gonna cut these into steaks the slices and supposedly this is the bonanza steak that looks really good look at the marbling on that can you guys see the marbling look at that oh my god tenderness is awesome Oh my god, I'm in heaven. Heaven! I'm in heaven! I don't know the rest of the words right now. Hey! Now, this part. Here's something I want to show you. See that there? That carries on and moves into the rib. So that, that is like a rib steak. I'm going to trim. Finding seams, that's all the, the, all this is about. This I'm going to cut up into uh, some stew meat. I don't have a glove on, I was too lazy to go grab it, It's and it's right behind me. And now, oh my god, well, you know what? This could be called Peasant's Prime Rib. This this as I have it. I'm looking at the shape of it and it's it's got all the right fixings for it. The marbling here is going to be unbelievable. It's May, greatest month of the year. The end of the month I'll be my wife and I will be with about six hundred thousand of our best friends listening to someone say lady and gentlemen start your engines someone that's not Jim he Jim neighbors singing back home again in Indiana and it seems that I can see. I used, you know what? I've been watching the Indo Indianapolis 500 since I was a kid. I never liked that song until, I don't know, I, I never got it until maybe 10 or 15 years ago. And it's part of the, I guess, the pomp and circumstance of the Indianapolis 500. So what I'm doing here is I'm just this this flat muscle. I'm just moving it. I'm leaving it on. I want I want to trim some of the fat off. The marbling is key. This not so much. You can leave this in. It's going to be really good. It's going to give you great flavor. I don't want to have it for dinner on Sunday. Some sort of steak. Let's see here. I kind of want to make a roast too, but I don't know how or where. A little square. Square that up. Check it. You can do this at home. I'm proving right now. You can do this at home. Be safe about it. Keep your animals away while you're doing it. string. Um, I've shown you guys several times how to tie.
picked out an inch apart because what I'm actually doing here is I'm gonna slice this into steaks. One thing, there are a lot of guys who are much better than me at what I do. And there are some that have never ever taken a look at a blade and go, what can I do different so that I can get better yield? So watch, watch this. Look at that. It's almost identical to a boneless rib steak. There you go. That's pretty freaking awesome. I've got two, four, six, eight, nine eye steaks. I've got two, four, six, seven of these Bonanza slash Denver steaks. There. Some for stew, some's gonna end up as grinds. Stew is sold and it's too freaking lean. And I'm not, you need some fat. You add some, you leave some fat on the meat, you don't need to add sugars or, or oil. I'm making a stew for dinner. So there you have it guys. I took a blade, in a matter of about 15 minutes, I yielded some really, really great food that's going to make some really, really great meals. Um, you can do this at home, just follow what I did, and um, you're going to save some money, you're going to know exactly what's in your food, and man, you're going to impress everyone. And when, you, when your friends ask, my god, where'd you get a steak like that? Just tell them, Larry the Butcher taught you how to do it. So. I can't thank you guys enough for taking the time to watch this little part of the internet, my part of YouTube. It, it means a whole lot for me that you guys are are taking the time to watch these episodes and building building my audience, building building a movement that's going to get people back in the kitchen. It's the ultimate goal. Um, and it, it's going to happen one subscriber at a time, and and it's awesome. It is so awesome that this has happened. Don't forget to like this episode, comment down below. Um, there are more episodes like this coming up. Um, what do you want me to break down next? Um, probably gonna do some bone and pork loin, gonna do beef chuck. Um, I'm probably gonna bone out a whole, a whole hog. Um, planning on some sort of barbecue one day. Um, please hit that subscribe button right there. Share this, share this video on all your favorite social media and track me down on social media and engage keep the conversation going and uh by all means you know throw me ideas uh suggestions anything you want to see i'll do what i can to do it or direct you to someone that can do it thanks guys once again and i'll see you later bye